Hey, it's Jeff. <clears throat> How are you? Um, so I just started this new project and I stuck some stuff on it. I'm going to delete a track here. I'm going to insert another track. So uh, in this in this video, what I wanted to try to look at was looping and uh, how well it works and what you can do with it. So if I come over to plugins and type th here, it gets me th3. And I'm just going to drag some instances of th3 out here. <clears throat> and it takes a second to load it up. And this one I'm going to set to left for um, different inputs here. Try to turn these on, see if that works. Okay. So it's interesting that this one is appears to not be um let's make sure I get that right. Yeah get on stereo. I want it all right. Hello, check. Test. Okay, let's make sure that the mic's on. Uh test. Test one, test two, test three. Let me turn the gain up on that sucker. Test one, test two, test three. Check, check. All right, that's working on me. Well enough, anyhow. Uh, hello. So now I got it there. All right, now um, uh, I'm going to drag TH3 onto all three tracks. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a MIDI track. And for my MIDI track, I'm going to set the input to be Omni for MIDI 1, which is going to be for my FCB 1010 pedal board. But you could use the sustain pedal for a keyboard or any type of pedal that is a MIDI pedal. And then I'm going to open these and enable MIDI input on all these TH3s. And now uh, I'm going to clone this track. And so this is the MIDI track. And now the output, I'm going to send the output of one to one TH3, the output of another to the another TH3, and the output of the last to the last TH3. And if I let's go to the first first instance of TH3, I click the looper button, and I right click on record, and I do learn, <coughs> and I step twice on the button, and then I learn stop, step twice on the button, click OK, and now that one is learned. <clears throat> and now the next one, I'm going to do the same. What did I do wrong? Learn clip. Oh wait, I must have routed wrong. So one thing that's going on here is that this one started looping. And that clicking noise that you're hearing is related to uh, uh, basically a bug with the looper um, where at the end of the loop you can get a click uh, depending on what was being fed into it. So let's go look at the output of this one and make sure it's routed to track 2. It is MIDI 2, TH3 2. This one is routed to 1. This one is routed to 3. So let's go do it again. If I go here to 2, looper, right click, learn. Uh, 
Oh, maybe the input's wrong. Track three input. Oh, oops. Five input Omni. Ah, oh, there's my problem. I'm just going to turn the automatic off so they're all on all the time, whether or not they have a focus. Learn. Learn. And now, um, the last one, looper, learn, okay, so now I have record and stop mapped up for all three. So, and if I, if I control click, I can open all three. So. So now we have all three open where I'm going to try to make it so I can see the looper part for all three at once. And now So now if I want to Oh, I got a whole bunch of them already mapped up. stop I'm going to try it again here we should see all three of them start recording at the same time So now all three are looping. <clears throat> so at this point, if you wanted to take just one and uh, and um, map it and map it up differently, you could layer one without the others, right? So I'm gonna just take one and put overdub. So uh, it looks like actually the uh, overdubbing in that case, like you can stop one, and when it resumes, it doesn't resume with its peers. So if I click stop for all, That's most cool. So if I uh, play, play in that case started two, these two are just playing. Uh, oh no, all of them are playing. Okay, and if I click the overdub button, do they all start overdubbing? Yeah. <laughs> 